No, this isn't a parliamentary debate. These experts are meeting in Bonn for a conference on electromobility. Up until 1999, Bonn's plenary hall served as Parliament for West and later the whole of Germany. Since then, it's become a conference centre and a symbol of Bonn's resurgence after the departure of the government and Parliament. The number of jobs has increased, as has the number of jobs requiring a high level of education. And there will continue to be a strong demand for highly qualified jobs. That's because Bonn is a city of science that's also internationally oriented. And it's a business location that deals with global issues. 20 years ago, as Parliament debated the move to Berlin, there was concern over Bonn's future. In the end, it wasn't just a question of location, but a symbolic one. My esteemed colleagues, who can dispute that you can enjoy life here on the Rhine and work in a pleasant environment? But it's not a question of our well-being or day-to-day -day pleasantries. Let the small town of Bonn have the parliament and government. Bonn would lose a lot with the loss of the Bundestag and the government. But Berlin would gain many new problems, such as with housing, regional planning and with infrastructure. Norbert Blum voted against the move and says he doesn't regret it. In a globalized world, we don't need giant cities. And in Germany, we don't need a city that sucks everything in. We need many cities. As colorful as Germany is, so should the Republic be. With cities such as Munich, Frankfurt, Cologne, Bonn and Berlin. For the proposal of retaining Bonn as capital, for Bonn, 320 votes. For the proposal of completing German unification, for Berlin, 337 votes. Two abstentions. It was decided to move to Berlin. A victory for former Chancellor Willy Brandt. Bonn wasn't going to lose out entirely, however. It was decided a number of ministries would stay behind. But it quickly became clear that Bonn would have to play second fiddle. As the German capital, Berlin is now where the important decisions are made and where the hype is. 20 years later, some ministries still have their main headquarters in Bonn and smaller offices in Berlin. For example, the Environment Ministry and the Defense Ministry. But they've got used to the arrangement. In the beginning, it took a bit of getting used to. But since then, everything has been going really well. We have modern means of communication like other offices. And we can all communicate via email or video conferencing. We only have to travel to Berlin for important meetings. Video conferences and email make the distance irrelevant, say opponents of the move. And bringing the remaining ministries to Berlin would be too expensive, they say. The situation wouldn't improve if we organized a big move. We can use technology as a tool. We no longer have deficiencies in communication and don't need a postman to be able to exchange information with one another. The ministries themselves also appear reluctant to pack up and move anytime soon. The Ministry of Health has recently constructed new office buildings in Bonn, costing nearly 60 million euros. For the German Taxpayers Association, it's a scandal. It's a question of whether the federal government should be based in one location or whether it should retain two seats of government, which, by the way, is unique in the world. The negative effects of this disagreement on the government's policies is strong, and you can't offset that with money. Even if the ministries want to stay put, more and more of their employees don't. The Ministry of Defense now employs more people in its Berlin office than in Bonn.
Many workers, especially the younger ones, have different priorities. The ministry recruits young people for its personnel, but not everyone wants to move to Bonn. Most, especially the young, see that things are really happening in Berlin and prefer to work there instead. Berlin and Bonn should share the workload equally. But on average, the ministries now employ more people in Berlin. Many are asking whether the arrangement has a future. It's unusual that something lasts forever, mostly just for the foreseeable future. That includes Bonn. Twenty years after the decision to move the capital to Berlin, the remaining ministries are slowly but surely following suit.